London Internet Exchange, or Lynx as it's better known, is the place where all the UK's internet companies connect their networks together. It's a not-for-profit organisation that exists for the genuine good of the internet and everyone who uses it. In November 18, I spoke at the Lynx quarterly meeting on the subject of the rise of the internet since 1995, linked into some key moments in Zen's history, and I finished with a somewhat controversial prediction for the future. Here are some snippets from that talk. The early years of Zen were like running up a down escalator. Every day the money was going out and like any startup business, you want to get the money coming in faster than it's going out. We work really hard, we work long hours. So that was phase one. Phase two, exponential growth of the internet. And for Zen, that was from about 2000 to 2008, riding that wave of growth where there was, there was such an increase in demand for services that it almost it didn't matter how many suppliers there were. In the generation center, it was a great starting place, had no windows, it was stuffy, really hot in the summer. Uh, and I thought, you know, if we're going to be a successful high-tech company, we need a successful high-tech looking building with glass and aluminium. And so we, 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 we built this. I always thought the co-op was a frugal organization, but absolutely not at all. I can see uh, one head shaking there. Um, they built it like a palace. I'm interested in GNH, Gross National Happiness. And when I heard that, I thought, you know, that really strikes a chord with me because isn't it the case that from a very, very young age, we are bombarded with imagery that tells us that the more money we have and the more we consume and the more possessions that we accumulate, the happier we will be. And of course, it's not true. These three fundamental objectives are the reason that Zen exists as a company. We've competed, of course, in a really competitive market. And the reason that we've been successful over so many years is, is we've differentiated our service. And I think that focus on people as a continual improvement has meant our service quality has, has shone out. And we've won a number of awards for our service over the years and also as an employer. Uh, the network we've got in place will scale to 600 gigabits per second, which is a number that I can't quite get my head around. But there is no, there is seriously no amount of money that would make me sell that business ever. Who sitting here could possibly have predicted everything that the internet has delivered and how it's changed society, how it's changed business? I mean, I certainly couldn't have done that. I thought I'd finish by, um, by one thing that I will predict, uh, which is a little bit out there, but I'm gonna do it anyway. So in my view, true intelligence within a computer system will be developed in the not too distant future. We might even develop consciousness. Now there's lots of philosophical debates behind that statement.